goddess of victory, Nike. <laughs> Roger. Route them in their entirety, yes? Get to the target. Which of you scornful dunderheads dare step forward? Reload! In the competition, nothing beats cold hard cash. Here I go. You ready for combat? This battle's finished. Moving on. on We're about to engage. Move forward. Oh, for goodness sake! She got away! You, human! Go home! You're of no use to me. Oh, you better not slow me down. Fancy a drink? Here I go. Roger. Get to the target. And... Roger. What is this place? Why am I here? Fancy a drink? We're about to engage. Move forward. 
Initiating engagement sequence. Fancy a drink? On my Sprout them in their entirety. Get to the target. This all feels so familiar, but how? Roger. Get to the target. Move forward. On my way. And here I go. My blade shall not be made light of. After all.
do I know this? Reload. Enemy dispatched. Get to the target. On my way. In. Roger. Engaging the enemy. That's that. Reload. Why do I know this? Reorganizing. Here I go. On my way. Get, let's get started. Move forward. Target acquired. Why do I know this? This battle's finished. Moving on. Here I go. In. Roger. Engaging the enemy. Reorganizing. Roger. My blade shall not be made light of. Preparing. Reload. Why do I know this? Oh. Stop the wall and stop! So, 
I just have to shoot? Enemy dispatched. Roger. On my way. Get to the target. Move forward. We're about to engage. Roger. Enemy aircraft confirmed. This battle's finished. Moving on. on Ready for combat. Move forward. Fancy a drink? Roger. Let's get started. Get to the target. Good, we haven't lost the tracks. But this snowstorm is picking up. If we don't pick up the pace, these tracks are going to vanish. Are you tired? Hmm. Uh-huh. Let's rest for a moment. I said, let's rest. I've got to make some preparations as well. Where there's a will, there's a way. That's because my equipment isn't quite up to par. I don't remember. Maybe since the first Rapture invasion. A few decades at any rate. No more questions, I don't want to talk about it. Who are you, anyway? Why did Chatterbox kidnap you? Something here stinks. Look, what you're doing is not something that ordinary humans are capable of. Hmm. And, judging from your expression, you haven't fully recovered from it. I don't know those guys either. But I'm pretty sure they are directly under the Queen. We find them, we find the Queen. The Rapture's Queen. If we manage to bag her, we'll be able to usher in a new era. <laughs> Let's get moving before this snowstorm gets any worse. I must survive. I must... Oh. Not the wall is down! Fire straight ahead! My 
This battle's finished. Moving on. Get to the target. Roger. On my In counter. Here I go. They are as candles. The better burnt out. Why do I know this? Reloading. Um, yeah. Oh, all gone. This battle's finished. Moving on. Let's get started! Here I go. Get ready for combat. Here I go. On my Ready for combat. Move forward. Which of you scornful dunderheads dare step forward? Reload. This battle's finished. Moving on.
Here I go. In. Roger. Destroy. Enemy dispatched. We're getting close to a whiteout. Can you keep up? I haven't met many commanders, but I've never met one quite as raring to go as you are. At first, I was destroying raptures as I went along, just trying to make my way towards the Queen. But I was hitting a dead end. They didn't communicate using any human language, and whatever data they had stored inside was scarce. And then, I came across Chatterbox. That is, if I remember correctly. Then a massive beam of light shot out from the Ark. Yeah, I ran into him near the Ark. A rapture who could talk. It was like an epiphany. I thought I could get some information about the Queen. But that clever little sneak is always thinking about how to slip away. So our conversation's been brief. I thought I could make him say more this time. But there was an accident. A traitor. Scum. <sighs> the less said about them, the better. All I can tell you is, they are mankind's adversary without a doubt. They're also my ticket to the Queen. Ugh. I've said too much. We need to speed up. Roger. Brought them in their entirety. On my way! They are as candles, the better burnt out. Reloading. Why do I know this? Oh, the wall is done. Here's fashion. Time to go. What just happened? This battle's finished. Moving on. Roger. Route them in their entirety. Get to the target. Fancy a drink? You brought them in their entire Roger. Target acquired.
just have to shoot? Get to the ready for combat. Here I go. I must survive. I must. Here I go. And get to the target. The sooner we're done here, the sooner I can go shopping. Harry. Reload. Fancy a drink? We need to move faster. Uh, uh. Hey, are you okay? Go back. Oh, what am I saying? You couldn't go back if you wanted to. Uh, should I find some kind of shelter for you? Looks like I've still got a long way to go. I haven't made any progress after all this time. I may have been up on the surface for a long time, but I'm still a Nikkei. I can't just leave you here to die. Put this on. It should heat you up. It may be a little hot for a human, but in this kind of weather, it's just the ticket. <clears throat> it's what keeps me going, even today. Multiple enemies detected. Enemy dispatch. Enemy. 
Get to the target. Move forward. Route them in their entirety. Yes? On my way. Target acquired. Reload. Enemy dispatched. Get to the top. In counter. Roger. I must survive. I must. the competition. Nothing beats cold hard cash. Here I go. Let's get started. Roger. This all feels so familiar, but how? Fancy a drink?
Roger. Get to the target. Move forward. Get to the target. Roger. On my way! We're about to engage. Here I go. What is this place? Why am I here? Why do I know this? Competition. Nothing beats cold hard cash. Get to the target. Here I go. And Roger. Money is power, after all. Roger. Here I go. Get to the target. Ready for combat. On my way! Hot stuff! Coming through! Roger. And get to the target. Uh, no. We haven't completed our mission. I don't care about that. A warm welcome means nothing to us. If anything, it's like we'd be admitting failure. It's okay to fail. There's no need to persevere. That's the kind of message we'd be sending. I don't want that. Also, we know nothing about the Ark. Absolutely nothing. Not a single thing. We don't have the slightest idea about what kind of environment that place is. So we can't go to the Ark. Even if they wanted me, I still wouldn't go. We are but pilgrims wandering the frozen lands looking for a glimmer of hope.
Enemy aircraft confirmed. Fancy a drink? Here I go. Roger. Move forward. Get to the target. Get to the target. Ready for combat. Move forward. Hot stuff! Coming through! Get to the target. Let's get started. Move forward. Money is power, after all. Why do I know this? It exploded. Oops, but oh. I just have to shoot? Reload. Why do I know this? This battle's finished. Moving on. We're about to engage. On my way! Uh, found them. It's a heretic in Chatterbox. Is she... repairing Chatterbox? They're awfully chummy, aren't they? I'm going in. Guns blazing. You better find somewhere to hide. You just don't get it, do you? When did you... I was merciful enough to let you go once before. Out of sympathy for your poor, wretched souls, destined to forever wander this cold, dark planet alone. Enough! Ah, I see. You've had enough, haven't you? That's why you came to me. You want out? Enough of your blasphemy, traitor! In that case, then allow me to put you out of your misery. A magnetic field? She can do that all on her own? I'll admit.
admit that you know your way around a firearm. Unfortunately, it seems that your equipment is somewhat lacking. What a shame. <coughs> I do believe your pain sensor is out of order. Poor thing. Out of respect for all the time you've dedicated towards helping these humans, I'll make your death as painful as possible. you can last hey what is it I can't reach this spot on my back can you scratch it for me <laughs> with pleasure What was that? <coughs> hey, hey. What is it? Watch your back. What? <gasps> what is this? Commander! Sorry we're late. We saw the signal and came as quickly as we could. Commander, you look terrible. Master! And what are those? Don't tell me that's a pilgrim and a heretic! Holy crap! What are the chances of seeing these two things together? Awaiting your order, Commander. If it's okay with you! about it, Pilgrim. Why not? Let's end this thing! Engaging.
Enemy dispatch. It's weird. No matter what metric you use, I'm superior in every way. How could this fight have been so close? Don't know what to tell you, Chief. Perhaps you thought too highly of yourself? Huh? My body armor! Damn it! Should I have come with Nihilister? <laughs> you! What's going on? Please don't worry. I will protect you. Commander, I could use another bandage here as well. Thank you. The pain is gone already. Shoot... right... here. Commander... Thank you... for your... bandage. Are you talking to me? Sorry, but you seem to have gotten me mixed up with someone else. My name is Modernia, and I work for the Queen. Ugh. Marion? Marion. Amazing. No wonder it's got this familiar ring to it. Marion. 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 Marion, Marion, Marion? I'm Marion from Squad Silver Gun. Pleasure working with you. Are you awake? We're in a nearby bunker. We got separated due to how massive that explosion was. It wasn't easy wrangling everyone back together. But at least we're all alive. <sighs> and the pilgrim sustained heavy damage from an explosion set off by a heretic. We are currently in a nearby bunker, awaiting rescue. Communications are down. Heavy snowstorm outside. Visibility less than one meter. I broke my rib and my core was punctured. Mobility is temporarily not an option. Anise's pelvis is severely damaged. Mobility is temporarily not an option. Neon was damaged in the stabilizer of her spine. Mobility is temporarily not an option. <clears throat> the Pilgrim is in relatively good shape, but one of her legs is seriously damaged. She too is unable to move for the time being. To be frank, zero. The snowstorm is too large. It will make it impossible to pinpoint our location. This isn't a bunker. It's a tomb. Not in your current condition. Out of the question. We won't survive five minutes outside. No, it's not. You're not going anywhere. I've already failed to protect you multiple times. I can't just... Send you off to your death. What? What?
Do you trust me? Who says I'll come back for you? It would be easy for me to escape. There wouldn't be any witnesses. <sighs> All right, let me see that exoskeleton. I promise. I'll come back for you. Bad news, guys. The snow is wafting into the bunker. We'll be snowed in if it keeps up. How long has the Pilgrim been out? Three hours. She's not coming back. She never was. <laughs> not that I blame her. After all, Pilgrims are Nikkeis who have been abandoned by humans. Nestor, are you alright? Your temperature... Rebby, at this rate... Everyone, huddle around the commander. Adjust your output to 98.6 degrees. We won't last much longer like this. <sighs> Fine, let's do it. We can't let the commander die before us. Roger. Um, this is... a bit embarrassing. Just hold on a little longer, Commander. Commander? Commander! What? What's wrong? This temperature is too low! Commander! Wake up! Commander! Getting awfully hot and steamy in here. <laughs> it's not what you think! Ludmilla! You've done well. Well, we're here, so you can quit manhandling your commander now. Where's the commander? Asleep. They went through hell and high water to get here. Great. Hey, Ludmilla. How did you find us? <sighs> I heard gunshots coming from outside the research base. So I went to check it out. Someone was standing there with a flare, but I didn't see her face. She seemed to want us to follow her. So we did. Then, at some point, she disappeared. I was checking the perimeter just to be safe, and I ended up finding you guys. The Pilgrim. She kept her promise. You're a sorry-looking bunch. You passed out several times on the way back. Was she a Pilgrim? Yeah. Figured as much. <laughs> the snowstorm stopped. Communications are back up. I contacted the Ark. The transport ship should be arriving soon. You all go back and get yourselves fixed up. And take good care of that goofball you call a commander. Thanks. We owe you one. It was nothing. Alice, say goodbye. Will you ever come back? Of course. We haven't defeated the Queen of Hearts yet. We'll come back. When we're stronger. Good. I'll do the same. We must defeat the Queen of Hearts together. Be sure to show me your legendary weapons by then. <laughs> sure thing. I came to return this. How are you holding up? That's what you always say. 
That heretic girl. It seemed like you knew her. Are you sure about that? Here. Take this to the lab. It should be of some use to you. What? Ugh. Do you realize how long I've stayed on the surface? You and I live in completely different worlds. No matter how much it seems your fear will consume you, you must learn to appreciate the world of others, even if you have to give up a piece of your own. What you must never do is destroy someone's world, for all of them are precious, and all of them are someone's home. Uh, I'll be in touch. I'm heading back. Thank you for saving my life. I won't forget it. There you are. You really put yourself through the ringer with that last fight. Anyway, it's good that you made it out alive. Let's cut to the chase. The reason I called you here in such a hurry was because I've received instructions from the central government. You're the only commander who has survived multiple encounters with Chatterbox. You're the first to come in contact with the Pilgrims and the Heretics, and witness an altercation between them. You're also the first to see one of their former subordinates become a heretic. Therefore, some key personnel in the central government have come to a decision. Considering how often you have come into contact with living beings up on the surface, you and your squad are being appointed as special commandos. Simply put, you'll have more autonomy when it comes to your missions. No one under the rank of Deputy Chief may issue you an order of any kind. You may also refuse any order issued by the upper ranks, provided there is a justifiable reason for doing so. So long as you maintain regular reports, no one can touch you. I should also mention that, if you were so inclined, you're also entitled to conceal information. Ah, uh, yes, and the CEOs of the Big Three have no power over you whatsoever. That was my own suggestion. But you are still stationed at the outpost. You've come a long way in such a short span of time. You were the only logical choice. From now on, you will live in the outpost, where you may investigate all beings above ground as you see fit. In regards to the Ark, you are free to come and go as you please. As for now, you and your squad get to enjoy a month's vacation. You've all been through a lot. Take this as an opportunity to rest and recuperate. I realize you have a lot on your plate and want to get started, but for now, rest. That's an order. Hmm. I was hoping that you would be able to slip under the central government's radar. But no, their ambition devours all. That's why I sent you to the outpost in the first place. Out of sight, out of mind. I didn't expect you to do so well so quickly and end up drawing attention to yourself. Hmm. That'll be all. I'm due for a lunch meeting. Keep up the good work. Nestor, how are you holding up?
Okay then, I'll get straight to it. Well, to be perfectly honest, things aren't looking good. I did some snooping around the past month, and didn't turn up anything useful. I couldn't find out what's inside this bullet that Pilgrim gave you. It's some kind of unknown substance that's not registered in the database. I tried asking around in the Outer Rim, but couldn't turn up anything. Exia also said that the substance database has apparently been expunged. So one thing, maybe the only thing we know so far, is that the central government is good at covering their tracks. The heretic is a dead end as well. There are next to no records on them. Just rumors that read more like urban legends. Nothing reliable. We haven't been able to figure out how Marion could have been turned into a heretic after her brain was destroyed either. We may be able to turn up something if we can get ourselves into the central government library. But there's one small problem. The central government keeps that place under lock and key. It doesn't matter if we're special commandos. They'll never let us in there. What do we do? Everywhere we turn, we're being blocked by the central government. How about asking Deputy Chief Anderson for help? I don't trust that man. We still aren't sure what his aim is. All he's done so far is toss around orders. He hasn't done anything to actually help us. That's true. Also, that bullet is no ordinary bullet. What makes you think that? A little gunpowder elf inside the bullet told me so. I like where you're going with this. Agreed. The less people involved, the better. For sure. Exia said that... There was a facility on the surface that's comparable to the central government. Really? Hello! What brings you all here? Ah, yes! That! <sighs> Why can't you just call us? What an oddball. Are we finally heading up to the surface and looking for the munitions facility? Commander, what do we do? With the way things are now, we can't find out any information about the heretic. With any luck, this bullet might provide us with some kind of clue. Besides, that pilgrim wouldn't have given us an ordinary bullet. Yes, Commander. Thanks for your help, Exia. See ya!